the complete mirroring of a project in a single click has been added to Paramount. The user now has the ability to mirror all entities of a project, including NC programs, toolpaths, boundaries, patterns, feature sets, work plans, stock models, and so on, through one single command. Many industries produce left and right hand parts, including the aerospace and automotive industries. So by having this functionality, it greatly reduces the time needed to program these parts. Mirroring was available in Paramount before, but on an entity to entity basis. So we could mirror toolpaths by themselves, mirror boundaries, mirror work planes, but it was quite a time consuming operation. Also, some uh, areas were prone to issues such as stock models and blocks because they needed the user to thoroughly check that they had been mirrored correctly. Now we can just use a single command to mirror all entities in the project. The mirroring functionality has been added to the main Paramount toolbar through this icon here. Also, you can access it through the tools menu and the third option down is to mirror a project. So I have a complete project. I have all of my tool paths, my tools, uh, feature sets, work planes, stock model, and an NC program. So I want to mirror all of these entities so that I am producing a, a right hand version of this component here. So I'm going to click on my mirror icon to open up the mirror project dialog. So straight away, Paramill chooses a preview plane going through the Z, X axis of my active work plane. I can change that work plane through the drop down menu here. If I choose none, then I will be using the Paramill transform to mirror through. So that plane is positioned at the 0, 0, 0 now. If I go back to the transform one, I can change the position of this. So if I want to mirror everything to the side of the project, then I can change the X or Y coordinates like so. And you can see the preview plane instantly updates. I can also define a plane using the defined mirror plane toolbar. So once I enter this, I can change the axes to mirror through the XY, the YZ, or stay with the ZX. I can also choose a manual direction. If I click on this icon here, I then just need to select my first point, hold the left mouse button down, and then scroll to the next point after that. And you can see I get an instant update of the plane where my mirror will occur. I'm just going to undo that and exit the toolbar. Before I complete the transform, I have two options available to me. I have optimize and calculate. If I select calculate, then PowerMill will do an automatic recalculation of all toolpaths and boundaries after they have been transformed. If I choose uh, the optimize option, then a simple geometric mirror will take place where possible. Otherwise, the entities will remain uncalculated. So many of these toolpaths can just go through a simple geometric mirror and they do not need to be recalculated. However, for my roughing and my rest roughing toolpaths, for example, then they will need to be calculated. So if I leave the calculate option unchecked and just leave optimize on, then once I perform the transform, these will remain uncalculated. I know I will have to perform that calculation myself. I can select both options where all entities that can be geometrically mirrored will be. And then any that had to be recalculated will automatically be recalculated for me. Okay, so I've selected my plane. I've selected to optimize and calculate the entities so now I just need to transform. 
So now Power Mill is going to cycle through all entities. It will cycle through all of my toolpaths, my boundaries, my feature sets, my stock models, etc. Now that the transform has complete, you can see the model shifts to the mirrored location. All toolpaths have been updated and where it needed to be recalculated, they have been recalculated. And that is the same for any boundaries as well. What I also get is a change to my work plane that I mirrored the project through. It is now called mirrored-transform1. My other two work planes that I used have also been updated. So if I click on one and the three and activate them, you can see that they have passed through the mirror plane also. The toolpath edit history is also updated after we have performed our project mirroring. If I right click on the active toolpath here, go to edit and then open up the toolpath editing history form. I now have two editing sections. So I have any historical toolpath edits and I also have any current edits I make. If a toolpath had been edited before mirroring, then these edits will be carried over to the historic edit side. So previous edits will be listed here. If I was to edit the toolpath now, so if I right click on this and just perform a basic limit operation, um, I'm just going to apply that and then close. And now if I open up the editing history form, I can now see that the mirror edit becomes a historical edit and the current editing history has been updated on the right hand side. So now that my entire project has been mirrored, I can go ahead and save that and then run it on my machine. This single command to mirror entire projects in a click of a button makes it extremely easy to machine similar mirrored parts. So if we're converting from left to right hand parts, the process is now a lot simpler for us.